Find the centroid of the area between the two curves. So our formula for the centroid is that x bar is the integral of x dA over the integral dA, and y bar is the same thing with y. To find the x bar component, let's start with our vertical differential element. Our vertical differential element has width dx and height, the difference between the two curves. So we've got x over 4 at the top and we've got x squared over 2 at the bottom. So dA for this differential element looks like dx times x over 4 minus x squared over 2. We can plug this into those integrals and evaluate the integrals x bar is the integral of x dA from 0 to 0 0.5. That gives you x squared over 4 minus x cubed over 2 dx divided by the integral from 0 to 0 0.5 of x over 4 minus x squared over 2 dx. You can evaluate those two integrals. You've got the integral from 0 to 0 0.5 of 1 fourth x squared minus the first integral, 1 half x cubed, gives you 1 twelfth x cubed minus 1 eighth x4, or 1 over 384 as you evaluate it from 0 to 0 0.5. The denominator is the integral from 0 to 0 0.5 of 1 fourth x minus 1 half x squared dx is 1 eighth x squared minus 1 sixth x cubed which is 1 over 96. If you divide this numerator by that denominator, you can find that x bar is 1 fourth, or 0 0.25. To find y bar, we have to know what the dA is in terms of either this differential element still vertical or a differential element that's horizontal. If we do a differential element that's horizontal, we need to know what the width of this rectangle is. In this case, the width of the rectangle goes from the x value of one curve to the x value of the other curve. Well, this point is the top, the left point is the top curve. So this is x over 4 and y equals x over 4. This part is going to be y equals x squared over 2. What I need to know is what those x values are. So my dA here goes from 4y to the square root of 2y. And which one's on top? The square root of 2y is most on the right hand side. So which one of these is negative? My actual width here is the square root of 2y minus 4y dy. Because the square root of 2y, though it is on the bottom, is the larger of the x curves. Now I can put that all into the integral and integrate it. y bar is the integral from, now you have to find out what your values of y are. y goes from 0 to the value at the topmost corner, which if you plug that in, look at, for example, x over 4, looks like 1 8th, 0 0.125. That's what the values of y are. Now I want to integrate y times the square root of 2y minus 4y squared dy, and divide that by the integral from 0 from, from zero to 1 8th of the square root of 2y minus 4y dy. If you evaluate these integrals, you have 4 thirds y cubed minus 2 fifths y squared times the square root of 2y over 2y squared minus 2 thirds y and the square root of 2y. Each of these has to be evaluated from 0 to 1 8th. That gives you 1 over 1920 on the top and 1 over 96 on the bottom, which is 1 over 20. So the actual centroid of the area between these two curves is at x bar equals 1 quarter, y bar equals 1 20th.